That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Looks so cool. That's also really cool. You can see why this would cause problems for the Panopticon. looking thing. What is that? Just pure black. Is it? Is that a document? On a table? Oh, fuck. Huh. I think maybe I should come back here later. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here later, but... I don't think they're expecting you to get a document in the pitch blackness. I guess let's grab something to give myself more height, and then maybe I'll be able to do it. Like, it's totally possible, it's just weird. One zoom is not quite enough. Get the whole cart. Hmm, it's kind of too big. Oh, it exploded! No! <laughs> Post-box procedures. Black rock paneling has proven effective in hindering, but not eliminating the object's altered effect. Agents in the immediate vicinity may still experience paralysis. Keeping a distance of feet from the cell is recommended unless agent is confirmed to be non-susceptible. A dark blue United States post box model paint is chipped at the edges. The item itself is empty with no mail discovered inside at the time of retrieval. The item seizes the motor functions of organisms meeting an unknown criteria. Paralyzed subjects are still capable of moving their eyes and limited speech. During tests, approximately 16% of agents remained unaffected by the item. 
age, gender, race, height, weight, blood type, eye color, clothing, place of birth, diet, heart rate, and socioeconomic standing are all factors proven to have no correlation to an individual's vulnerability to the item. Victims' states of mind were recorded during onset of paralysis, but no emotional correlation has yet been found. Salvador, that's what happened to you. I need health. Oh, fuck. Shit. Hold on. Gotta pause, I gotta scratch my nose. And I don't want to die. <sighs> Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't even see them there. Got him. You don't. Thing was Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Okay, the TV. My Our God. Power gone nuts. Here we go again. Is it gonna take me out of here when we do this? I should collect everything first. Damage boost. Ooh, we've gotten a lot of high tier things. Damage boost, damage, just straight up damage plus 51%. That's amazing. Oh, what do I want that in? Damage, well, it's definitely better than damage after a kill. Yeah, damage plus 51%. Boop. I booped. Hmm. 
Do I want to replace anything here with damage after kill? No. Anchor Supplement. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the... Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew something by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the to the U.S. port of... Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the Bureau via the... Levitate, yes. Ho 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 ho! Oh my god. Keep holding it to levitate higher. So it only goes a certain distance. You can't like fly? Uh, how does it work? Oh. Yeah, it only gives you that... You can only levitate for a little bit before you start to slowly come back down, and it looks like the distance at which you levitate, like the max distance from the ground, is dependent on, well, the ground from which you started it. So, for example, this is the max height from here, and if I go over here, the ground is lower now, but it doesn't make me go lower. You just want to start at the highest point. Can you sprint while levitating? No. Oh, but you can dash. That is so cool. for Easter eggs or something. Oh, something. Well, if I hold down levitate as I go off the edge, does that also give me the height of the original surface? Yeah, it does. And if you press space again while you're in the air, then it cancels it completely. You don't fall down gently. Right, I'm throwing your own rocks back at you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. No, now we gotta help that person in the fridge before they die. Can I go out there? Yeah, I didn't think it would just be a sudden death plane. Oh! I got an ability point just for going here. Rewarded for exploration. I love it. That feels good. Look at how gentle we can fall. It's so gentle looking, isn't it? What was that sound? It sounded like bubbling. God, I'd love to be able to do this. So yeah, that's how you're intended to get over there. Yeah, you can start up the slow descent again even after you cancel it. So go up, press space to cancel, press it again. Start slowing down. Do I have to press it or hold it the second time? You just have to press it. about to ask, how do I get to the fifth floor? And then, oh, well, there's an enemy there kind of suggesting that. Plus, uh, I can levitate. <laughs> there's so much I could explore in here with the levitate ability, but let's just focus on what we're supposed to do for now and then explore more. Oh, right. Right. F fridge person. Was the emergency not considered over? I guess not. All right, sorry.
searching for secrets. Oh, the swan. We read about that. Ah, don't get distracted. Actually, that might be where we're supposed to go. weird where we're walking now isn't on the map it doesn't show all the spindles coming off the panopticon a get well soon balloon next to a deflated one <laughs> what does it do they're always so menacing, they're just such common objects. But like, yeah, this one might make your eyes explode. here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna collect that, but I'm not gonna read that just yet. I think we should just go see Dylan right now and come back to this later. I still don't have clearance level six. Maybe it's in the cell or something. Plus, this is kind of far away from any control points that I know of, so... Ah, okay, okay. I'll just explore it. There's a lot of blood in that cell. Ah, 
visible wall. Look at that lens flare. <sighs> All right, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Because she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. It's gotta really hurt Jesse to hear that. That Dylan thinks we abandoned them. Forgot to read something. There it is. Salvador's. Wait, no, that's not it. Dylan Faden observation. Nine thirty. Breakfast is brought. Later, almost at noon, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. God, they're in a glass cell. Everybody can see everything they do using the toilet, even. That's so humiliating and dehumanizing. Asks for a television to be turned on. Lunch is brought. Eats lunch. Uses toilet. Begins talking to self. Becomes upset. Sedated. Crew clean the cell. Television is turned off. Comes to, asks for television to be turned on, staff refuse. And there's a little asterisk. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. And then 6.16 p.m. sleeps. Sleeps? Question mark? Where does that go exactly? Just to a really small room. Um, yeah, that over there. Well, we'll get access later.
Ah, you can shoot in midair. Of course you can. Why wouldn't you be able to? down on level one. All right, we have new ability points too. Exactly six. I should get more health and more energy. Right? But I kind of just want launch damage. I can max out our launch damage. No, let's get these. I finish this. Shatter. Let's get a new one. His snipers. Alright, let's take that. Back to central executive. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall with her CIA spy shit. God. <laughs> what is that? It's a coin. Put a record on. Ask Arish about the jukebox token. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, uh, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean... It's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. Oh, fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. Yummy you know, and Salvador used to have afterward beers down there. Gay. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so. Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with Rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples. 
measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. What do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Wait, they're still marked, like, for a quest. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is... They weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> Getting just tons of quests. Got a huge operation going on here. More and more people are coming back here, setting up camp. Guess I'll just keep managing inventory. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number... 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. So it's somewhere in executive. I wonder where, there's no question marks on the map. But now with all our security clearance, and the ability to levitate, we can access a lot of places we couldn't before. Good luck out there. Why haven't we dissected that freak mutation we locked up? We can learn so much from its physiology. He's a valuable resource alive. And Pope forbade any physical harm. Of course, if you disagree, you could always go tell her. No, that's fine. I'm sure we can find a more constructive use of our time. It's our brother, not a fucking object. God, they're staring off into another universe. <laughs> they're so tired. You don't think there'd be anything new in the shelter, do you? Oh. Not really, but I guess they're using it as like a medical place. HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the Hiss signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, 
But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Hi, Jesse. Nothing new to talk about. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. <laughs> Before we go upstairs, timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it became possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does Hiss resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Speech analysis. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the Hiss are referring to? Does the Hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-Hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the Hiss stating how they arrived here? Or an indication of its age? There is clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. That's the incantation we just read about. Through time, you want this to be true. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. 
But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? True. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. An earworm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a warm through time. You are a warm through time. The thunders come to sorts. Clearance level six. White pearls that yellow and red in the eye. Through them. I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. 
Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are a worm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes. What? Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. And something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are a worm through time. The... Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Ugh. Best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying, that he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. The thunderstorm distorts you. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real, like reality, and reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place, and there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds, 
side by side, on top of each other, some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Doris said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Through time, the thunderstorm distorts. Here we go again, once more with feeling. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh. That's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. This very dream! He said just now! And repeated it again now! I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, Dylan. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? I don't know. The inverted is near, right? Leave your inside by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the way. All those conversations were so captivating and terrifying. This happens more and more now. I noticed so many odd cuts during those scenes. Not mistakes, certainly not mistakes, very much on purpose. After the song. And it seems like they almost touched upon them during that last one. Or I'm in the corner watching. I, I think they were talking about their dream being the camera that we're now looking at the game through. The performances are just captivating. I'm absolutely sure there's nothing in this room. What is our main quest right now, by the way? Oh, right, the Prime Candidate Program. We have a lot of other things to do, though, a lot. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we are going to do, well, a whole bunch of quests, plus now that we can levitate, there's a whole lot of places we can explore that we couldn't before. <laughs>